not. There's a <laughs> re- there's just a wave of menopausal heat. <laughs> Is that what that is? <laughs> that is what that is. That's just us. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> How are you? Nice to see you. Excellent. Great to be here. We love having you on the show. Uh, You're a bit of a regular now. Uh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Quite a few, few times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, this response makes me want to come back more. We don't even have to pay them or anything. Uh, no cash. No, no cash. <laughs> so no. What, how would you feel if we offered you an internship here? Um, <laughs> to look after all our needs. <laughs> you can say that on television. Tea? Um, you make a good cup of tea. I've heard it. <laughs> tea, I, can, I can make tea. I, I can watch it. Uh, I know how to use a, a microwave oven. Do you? Yeah. Okay, you're in. Yeah. Um, I've stared at many a coffee maker. <laughs> and nothing happens. Then someone comes in and they push a couple of buttons and then coffee. <laughs> you superstar. Have you ever I, had I think any... it's, doesn't it take witchcraft to make coffee? <laughs> well. How do you do that? To make it well, yes. Yeah. A little Proper, bit of properly. magic, definitely. I mean, throughout your career, have you ever had an intern come and work for you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've had a few, yeah. Is this a trick question? Yeah. <laughs> You know what we're digging at? Average age, 20... what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, so the question is what, like uh, an older Yeah, uh, yeah. We heard Why you had Lionel Richie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And Lionel, <laughs> Lionel was a friend of mine until he heard that you said that. <laughs> um, Well, we were looking for funny responses, you know, uh-huh. while getting ready to come on. Um, yeah, I think, um, you know, everything's changed. First of all, besides life expectancy being 20 years beyond, mm. um, people are working longer. My grandfather believed that when you stop working, you're checking out. And mm. he worked um, till his 80s, and he, when he stopped, he mm. soon after checked out. Um, I'm a workaholic, so there's probably no danger um, of stopping anytime soon, and I'm traveling around the world. And before here, I was in Uruguay, and then Southeast Asia and Australia back to Los Angeles, back to New York, and I tour the States half the time, and people get exhausted looking at my schedule. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I encourage work and focus yeah. and, you know, Is that and how doing you things thrive? that feed you. Is, yeah, 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 but isn't absolutely. there a balance, Michael? You know, I mean, it's good to keep working, I get that, but isn't, mm-hmm. shouldn't there also be a sort of a balance where you have a bit of relaxation as well? What, what's behind your <laughs> workaholism, if there is such a word? <laughs> it is now, Jane. It is, I've just made that word up. Balance is a rumour. It's a myth. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, it's something everyone strives for, and when I speak to people in, who've been in my business for the longest time, and especially successful, driven people, um, they have a tough time uh, finding, achieving that balance. Um, most of the time, it's uh, with family in the music business and, and in the arts. There's no nine to five. It doesn't mm. exist. You, you're done when the creativity has reached a certain level, and if you're a perfectionist, you almost never reach that level. Um, so the most successful people I know in the business, the toughest balance that they achieve is family. Is enough time with their mm. family uh, or families? Yeah, of course. Cool. How do you a lot make of record family producers. time? Um, Well, let's see, I've done that. Um, Probably the greatest thing that happened for me with my family is my daughters moved in at a certain point, a very uh, young... uh, Are my daughters up there? Those are beautiful. Oh, my God. Gorgeous. Oh, they are. What a great shot. That's very sweet. That's lovely, isn't it? And you're a grandfather now. Imagine if I turned around and I didn't know any of the people. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you're doing it. How do you know this? It's it's Lionel Mitchell's Mitchell's family. Lionel, hi. Perfectionism comes a lot of the times. Psychoanalysts say comes from something in your childhood. What what do you put it down to? This constant drive. You're you're looking at my childhood. Um, No, no, I'm just I'm interested because I've interviewed a lot of people um, Mm -hmm. over the years, and everybody who's a bit of a workaholic and a bit of a perfectionist, it comes from something in in Ah, their background. Right, and I usually, if I'm speaking to people, I usually just ask them about their parents to find out, you know, what. Yeah. That's what like finding out what the soil and the Mm. sun was like and the water of basically someone's life. Yeah. Um, Neither one of my parents were workaholics. Uh, My mother did want to be a singer. And at that time in the States, uh, women who had families, a housewife, uh, it was frowned upon to pursue a career. So to a great extent, I lived out her dream. 